Do you have a strong core? Are you doing the right kind of exercises to develop your core strength? Hi, I'm Dr. Lindsay Treddy. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine practicing in San Diego, California. And today I'm gonna to talk about some exercises I have my patients do to, to really develop their core strength, their real core strength, not just working on their abdominal muscles, but the actual core the inside of them through the midsection and through their legs, having strength on the inside of these muscles is going to help you so much more than doing crunches or planks or things like that. So the key to making sure you have a strong core is balance. Can you balance? Can you do balance exercises? Because at the end of the day, a lot of the things we do rely on how strong we are at our core and how much we can balance. So one thing that is a big concern, especially for my patients who are becoming elderly, is falling. Why do they fall? They lose their balance. And what happens if we haven't been mindful about our bone density and our strength at our core um, as we advance in years is if we fall, we can break something and it can be very devastating and it's so much harder to heal when we are older than we are younger. So it is important for anyone at any age to develop their core through balance. So I always recommend patients to start doing this exercise in the most simplest ways and that's usually in their bathroom, at a sink, or in their kitchen. What you will want to do is see that you can stand on one leg without fully wobbling around, that you can stand on one leg and retain balance because even just walking is balancing on one leg at a time, okay? So this is what it will look like. In the morning, you're brushing your teeth, you're putting on your makeup, you're brushing your hair, whatever. You stand close to your sink. You can either keep your hands here or you can lean up against it in the beginning, all right? In the beginning, you're just going to do a simple kickstand. So what that looks like is I'm balancing on my left foot and I'm keeping my right foot toe down as a kickstand, okay? And if you're barefoot, or you're wearing the right kind of shoes that allow your foot muscles to move, which is very important, then you will feel your foot start to adjust to keep balance. That's important. Our feet have muscles and we must use them. So what you'll do is you'll stand here and you can do anywhere from 20 to 60 seconds standing on one leg. This is beginner. When this feels very easy, take your hands away. When this feels very easy, lift your toe up, okay? Now, you wanna be able to transition without shifting your hips too much. So the visual I have is I think about lifting up from here, okay? Lifting up. So I'm in my kickstand position. I'm lifting up here to redistribute. And then without shifting too much, there will be some shifting. I'm going to get my weight centered on this leg and then kickstand this one back. You're going to want to make sure your hips are about level, okay? They're not going to be hiked up or down. They're not going to be twisted. So it's really nice when you start with the countertop because you'll feel that they're even, okay? You can put a little weight here in the beginning until you can fully balance on one leg. How to progress this even further. If you're like, Dr. Lindsay, that's way too easy. I can do that. Okay, let's do some exercises. Let's do some single leg exercise. So kickstand. You've got your grocery bags and you're lifting. So you can do this with weights or no weights, just using your fists for resistance, okay? You've got your toddler and you're picking them up, putting them overhead, making them laugh, right? You can do this with weights or without weights, okay? Just start doing some of these basic movements you would do, but in a kickstand position. Again, too easy, bring your leg up, okay? Still too easy, move your leg back and forth, okay? You wanna do this without wobbling. If you're wobbling, don't bother. Go back to the easier until you feel really, really stable in your core, okay? 
okay? Make sure that you even out and do each leg, all right? When this is even easier, balancing with your moving your arms, then you can do what we call a single leg deadlift, right? So first, you're kickstanding. And if you watched my hinge video, make sure you are hinging your hips. If you haven't, don't do this exercise until you've practiced my hinge exercise. I'll link it below. Okay, so you're going to hinge forward and come up. That's really easy, right? Okay, then put your hands down. And you can go a little bit farther and lift your leg. Okay, and again, coming up without too much wobble. Even easier, too easy, add on a little leg lift. And maybe even keep your foot up the whole time. So this is how you develop great balance and a really strong core. These are the type of movements that are going to prepare you for everyday life, making sure you're strong enough to carry all your groceries in one go. Carry your kids as long as you want. Um, do all these things in our day-to-day -day lives. Planks, I don't know about you, but I'm not really using a plank in my day-to-day -day life. I don't find myself at work in a plank position very often. However, I do find myself having to maybe reach over at my patients and I'm balancing on one leg and not falling on them, okay? So, again, this is really good for anyone at any age. Make sure you can develop your balance and this will take you throughout your years strong and able. If you find that you're really struggling with this or you have pain, stop these exercises, consult with a doctor, consult with me, and we'll work on figuring out why you have these imbalances, if it's neurological, if it's muscular, if it's structural, and we'll work to correct that problem. You can go to my website, levelacupuncture.com to set up an appointment with me. And you can also search this YouTube, like and subscribe for a lot more free resources. Thanks and have a great day.